All right, so check it out. It is a big breakfast time. This is a rarity. One, breakfast. Two, a big breakfast. So I stopped off at McDonald's. We have a bag inside of a bag, and I got the big breakfast with hotcakes, but instead of the sausage patty, I substituted their steak. Since this location and a lot of others around the country have the uh, bagel steak breakfast sandwiches, we got the big breakfast with steak. So it's, uh, I don't know, steak and eggs with a bunch of other things. We're going to check it out. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you shall like it or not. I can be very persuasive. Uh, this parking spot was in the shade, a little awkward because it's uh, directly uh, ahead, straight ahead of where people order through the drive-thru. So they're, uh, I don't know, looking at this guy uh, eating and talking to a camera. But this is what we're dealing with. It is early in the morning and that is the big breakfast with pancakes and instead of a sausage patty we had them substitute steak and I didn't see an addition uh, for a charge this ended up being like seven uh, 49 or 779 it came to a little over eight dollars with tax we got the biscuit we got scrambled eggs three flapjacks or pancakes and then the steak with the onions I am excited it's also bringing me back to a time when I would finish my paper route on a Sunday morning and uh, my parents would take me to McDonald's and I would normally get an egg McMuffin sometimes I would get the breakfast but it's been a hot minute it has been a long time since I've had an actual breakfast platter probably from any fast food spot that is what we got going on let's see what we got all right so they have a bag inside a bag and since I ooh, now it's a really big breakfast. I didn't realize it comes with a hash brown. Okay, okay. Gonna have to get a uh, separate screenshot for the thumbnail because my initial one did not have that in there. Uh, then we got a nice little packet right here with utensils, a little uh, napkin, a little serviette, and uh, what else we got? We got uh, maple syrup and uh, grape jelly. Nice little, nice little touch right there, McDonald's. And we got three of these. That's butter. We got three butters. All right, let me uh, get the shot of that thumbnail with the um, hash brown. And then we're really going to dive into this breakfast. All of this food, less than, uh, I guess it was a little over $8. But $8? Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm just saying. All right, let's open up the little baggie right here. I got the little baggie. And uh, let me know in the comments below, uh, is this something you normally get when you go out uh, for some fast food breakfast as the sun is rising? The sun is rising. And um, I don't know. I'm interested to hear, do you normally go uh, for breakfast out in the fast food game and you get a, a sandwich like me and maybe a hash brown? Or do you go all out and get yourself an entire uh, breakfast? And they're calling this the big breakfast. And uh, I'm here for it. So let's move this over here. Let's try some of these uh, scrambled eggs right here. A little scrambled eggs action. Uh, eat, eating breakfast in the car. Uh, sharing this little uh, big breakfast with you. Interested to hear your thoughts. If you think this is uh, worth the price. And uh, how it's going to be for me. With the uh, steak instead of the uh, sausage. Yeah. I mean that's fast food scrambled eggs right there. But Alright. Here's a piece of the steak right there. Check it out. Yeah, steak instead of sausage, steak and eggs. Interesting to eat that by itself instead of on a uh, bagel sandwich. I like the um, onions right there. All right, I mean, not reinventing the wheel over here. I will say that's a bit uh, chewy when it's not uh, inside the uh, bagel. Let's take a bite of their um, 
biscuit. I don't know the last time I've even had a uh, McDonald's biscuit. I mean, I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of things happening in this video, either first time or the first time in a long time. Let's take a bite. That, I mean, prototypical biscuit. All right, let's get out the butter and some um, syrup. We're going to give these a shot. These used to be my jam back in the day. Little endorsement would eat uh, his weight in these uh, hotcakes or uh, flapjacks. What do you say? Pancakes, hotcakes, or flapjacks? Light up the comments. So let's try these out. All right, I put some uh, syrup and some butter on the uh, pancakes what does what does it say is it pancakes on the uh, menu board over at uh, mcdonald's all right so here we go and a nice uh three stack or is it just called the stack and there are three of them i don't know let's take a bite yeah that's the shining star of the big breakfast yeah these are really good I haven't had pancakes in a hot minute. All right, so listen, I like it. And I guess no big breakfast is complete without a bite of the um, hash brown. There you go. Big breakfast. With hotcakes, I'm pretty sure they say hotcakes over here at uh, McDonald's. Let me give you another look. And again, I substituted the uh, sausage for the steak. So that's what we got going on right here. I'm going to give this whole thing a rating. Again, it was just over $8. It is a decent amount of food. I'm going to probably say, before I give it a rating, that I uh, might prefer this breakfast with the sausage instead of the steak. The steak, when it's not on the bagel sandwich, this one at least, a little dry. A little dry. All right, let's uh, kind of get everything situated. We'll give it a rating and um, call it a day. All right, so listen, uh, was it good? Yes. Was it a decent amount of food for the price? Sure. Did it bring me down memory lane? A little uh, nostalgia for me? 100%, especially the uh, flavor and the taste of those uh, hot cakes, pancakes, flapjacks. Um, if I had to give the whole thing, the whole experience, a uh, 1 to 100, it is a solid 85. Uh, so like I said, I liked it. I probably would stick with the sausage instead of the steak, but it was fun to try a little steak and eggs in the morning. Uh, never hurt anyone, especially how much I like the uh, bagel sandwich. Uh, so there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, interesting. I got here really early. I was the only one in line. And as I've been filming this, uh, tons of cars have gone through the drive-thru. Now we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cars waiting. Um, are they getting the breakfast? Are they getting the big breakfast? I don't know. Um, all right. Thank you so much. Hope you all had a, a great weekend and we'll see you soon with some more reviews. Bye.